So let's just see how we can perform the insertion in a splay tree. So as we know, splay tree is a self-adjusting binary search tree similar to the AVL tree or the red black tree. Now here the difference is that after every operation we have to do the splaying. So splaying is the process of moving elements to the root. So suppose we perform the insertion operation. After that we have to perform the splaying. That means the element that we have inserted we have to move that to the root of the tree. So let's just see how we can insert these elements in our splay tree. So here in this website we can visualize the insertion process in a splay tree. So first of all let's just insert the element 10. So because initially our tree is empty so 10 will be inserted and we don't have to do any kind of rotation because that is the root node. Next we have to insert 20. So because 20 is greater than 10 so the 20 will be inserted on the right side of 10. So here 20 inserted on the right side. So here we have to perform one left rotation or the jag rotation so that this 20 becomes the root node. So here you can see 20 is now the root node after the rotation. So next we have to insert 30. So because 30 is greater than 20, 30 will be inserted on the right side of 20. So here 30 will be inserted on the right side. Now we have to perform one left rotation or the jag rotation. So here you can see after the rotation 30 is now the root node. So next we have to insert 25. So 25 is less than 30 and 25 is greater than 20. 25 will be inserted right here on the right side of 20. So now we have to perform one left and then the right rotation or the jag jig rotation so that the 25 becomes the root node. So after the rotation you can see 25 is now the root node. And lastly we have 5. So because 5 is less than 25, less than 20 and less than 10, 5 will be inserted right here. So here you can see 5 inserted here. So first of all we have to perform double right rotation or we can call this the jig jig rotation. So after the rotation 10 and 20 drag down and 5 came up. So now we have to do another right rotation or the jig rotation so that this 5 will become this root node and all of these elements will be dragged down on the right side. So after the jig rotation you can see 5 is now the root node. So this way we can insert elements in a splay tree. Thank you.